Hey guys, Steve Harris here with MuseThemes.com. For today's quick tip, I'm going to run through how to build something called a sprite. Now what a sprite is, is it's a technique for building a graphic or a button where we include multiple states of that button within a single image file. And to apply a rollover effect or a click effect, we simply move the background graphic around. And this can be a really unique effect for creating kind of animated buttons. Now this example I have on screen here, we just did a blog post explaining how this works, but watch this. As a mouse over menu, you can see that we get this background kind of gray box moving to each side. And the way that we're doing that is controlling the positioning of a background element. Now here's a quick example I just built that'll show you a rebuild in this demo. But basically when I mouse over it, you can see that this bird comes into view. And when I click, another bird comes into view using this sliding effect. So that's an example of a sprite. Let me jump into Muse and I'll show you how I built this. Let's create a new site here. Okay. And on a blank page, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to build the sprite graphic. And I already have one built here. It's called sprite.svg. So essentially what I've done here is I've created a 800 by 800 pixel box and I've put these four birds perfectly in the top corners or in the various corners of this box. And if I open up my file in Illustrator here, you'll see it's 800 by 800 and the birds are exactly positioned in the center of the four kind of quadrants or quarters of this graphic. So then in Muse, since that graphic is 800 by 800, I'm going to draw a box. And I'm going to make this box 400 by 400. So let's just go up to our dimensions here and I'll go 400 by 400. Basically what I want to have it be is one quarter exactly of that total sprite size. Okay, now I'm just going to put a little bit of a stroke on it so it looks more like a button and maybe we'll round the corners. Okay, so the next thing that we'll do is let's apply a background image to this as a fill. So we're going to go up to the fill option here. Let's add an image. I'm going to select that sprite graphic and click open. And you'll see now when it comes in with the fitting set to the original size and with it positioned in the top left corner, I get one bird perfectly centered in the middle of that graphic. Now if I were to adjust the positioning so that let's say it showed the bottom left corner, you'll notice that I get the different bird or any of these corners has the different Twitter bird. Fitting must be set at original size. We need to be careful about our dimensions here because if we were to set scale to fill, of course, we'd see them all. Or if we built the graphic at a different size on our box here, it'd be hard to control these birds kind of overlapping each other in a perfect spot. So let's just make sure it's set to original size and good. So the next thing we'll do, this is going to be a button. So I'm going to open up my states panel right here. And on my rollover state, all I'm going to do is I'm going to change the positioning of that background graphic. So let's do the bottom left corner. Then on my mouse down state, I could pick something different. Let's go ahead and apply the or move it to the bottom right corner, just like that. Now, the last thing that we need to do to this to make sure that we get some smooth motion is in this transition drop down. This is just below your states in the panel and muse. We need to set a fade and let's set a duration of about 0.5 seconds, just like that. Okay, so now that that's built, let's go ahead and preview it in the browser. Okay, so now that the browser is up here, our Twitter bird's showing up fine. And if I mouse over, you'll see that it slides out of the way to the bottom left corner. And if I were to mouse down, then the other side slides in. So as you can see, really cool effect, something that's not easily achieved in Muse without outside widgets or something like that. And this can be applied to really any element, a button, uh, an image. It's a great way to add some excitement to your calls to action. Thanks again for watching and best of luck building sprites. Cheers.